Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to draw a hand holding a pair of scissors but seen from the top angle. So if we were to see the hand from the top holding a pair of scissors but you know maybe from the side because we want to show some fingers and not just like that. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So please have your pencils all set and let's get cracking on this. So we will start with the hand this time around. So wrist about here, just trying to determine how we can best go about this. So the area for the hand can be, I guess, uh, kept around here. So we're looking at it from that angle so let's say that you're going like that like that so that's our bell shape for the hand that's the wrist and we have the scissors going probably like that way and that way so we will we will have everything converge like pretty soon so let us put out the hand because there's this is we, we are trying to tap into the easier way of doing this. So oval or the thumb area, one of the main components that work to uh, give stability to this particular position or posture. So there's the thumb, oval and that line and then we have to go over like that with an arc and come in one and two that is the index finger now this here we have to imagine is where the knuckle set begins that is the bottom of the the other fleshy part of the hand the bottom of the hand or the bottom of the hand or the palm there's the wrist and we have put like that a thumb in place So the thumb is in place, of course there will be a handle that will go over this and we will do that in a second. We'll do that in maybe in a different uh, ink so we can like, see it more clearly but here from the knuckle is emanating, the, so the knuckle really starting here behind the thumb and one, two and three, that is the index finger going through the bottom handle and then the neighboring uh, tall finger one two and three and let's position the other two fingers so there's the uh, knuckles form so one uh, two and three going back into the hand and one we have to make it close two and three because when we are holding something like the scissors the hand is pinched so I know it's messy right now so let's like recap thumb and knuckle and index finger knuckle 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 one two three that's the middle finger one two three one two three so those are the fingers all uh, set up so if you were to draw over them now we can let's, let's start with the index finger here so that is the part of the knuckle showing of course we won't see the majority of the index finger but regardless let's put the curves in place there's the middle finger right there and there it is and then of course a slightly separated uh, next finger 
that is going into the hand and just put a curve right there uh, skin fold and we have the little finger showing right that beside this so if I were to outline this and I should because it otherwise it will appear messy in a hurry curves and maybe the curvature should go like that way actually not that way as I had put it so we put in of the hand really converging to get to get this like pose going so nail is right there for the thumb in this particular position so we have the uh, nail right there maybe perhaps a portion of the nail might show on the index finger I don't think so not from this angle but you know every hand is different we always maintain that and with the slightest tilt of the angle certain things can come into view but right here we have the position for the hand that we need to from this angle and this is the challenging angle for sure but everything is workable all you need to do is have maybe perhaps a model of a hand in front so here we are now going to put in the handles. I believe that uh, it would go like that way around the thumb. And so there's the uh, handle, the top handle, and then of course. And I believe that there has to be I think the blades like they, they cross not like this hat the way I put them so the bottom handle so we always concentrate from the uh, from the uh, finger set so the bottom angle handle is going to go over these two fingers like that smug fit maybe some loose space here hope that we can see this clearly and then it will definitely cover a portion of the finger here I'm certain it will unless the fingers are like widely placed like that which would not really be an ideal placement to hold uh, scissors a pair of scissors sorry so there is the other handle like that of course joining blades so let's put this blade over that one and let's put that blade going that way uh, please allow me to color some of this so that it's a little more clear what should I use here now let's see perhaps just go with the purple and put some tones on the scissor. So there is the handle set. Of course we have to see where the different elements meet. Quite likely, in a conventional pair of scissors, this is what we will most likely end up seeing from this angle. Of course, some people like with like smaller fingers might have all, an additional finger in here or all four fingers. I don't think so. It's not really conventional. And then we have the one ring scissors too, which we will also 
type into and this is of course still in conjunction with a request that we had to show hands holding a pair of scissors so from this angle we have this uh, range of potential to show the anatomy and of course we can put in the curled uh, uh, finger lines in there depending on how detailed we wish to go so it's all something that is uh, left to detail and how we want to put on the tones and shadows for each of the fingers the thumb that is making the scissors do their job so there we have it I hope that it was of some help uh, thank you for watching uh, we will just put in some tones here just to so the light source from above we'll put some tones here just to finish this off so please do subscribe keep in touch we put out content every day so uh, let's keep sharing ideas uh, thank you for watching and have yourself a wonderful day